At Thanksgiving time, it's natural to reflect on all we have to be thankful for, both personally and as a parish community. We look back over the last year, remembering all that God has done for us, and it fills us with gratitude. Realizing just how much we have to be thankful for, we are moved to give back. This weekend is your opportunity to give to the parish through Stewardship Renewal. I love this church because there's outdoor mass and sometimes there are donuts and there's really good priests. I also love it because there's lots of kids activities like crafts. One other reason why I like it is because that there is CGS. I love doing it. I love being close to God. I love this church so much. We as a parish want to assure you that we are being good stewards of the donations we received. This past year our focus has been on capital repairs, filling vacant staff positions, continuing to strengthen our Ladato C platform, and sharing financial support with causes aligned with our parish mission. During the last fiscal year, we began some of the capital repairs we've been delaying. The cost of these repairs were $130,000 for the parish and $400,000 for the school. During the first quarter of this fiscal year, we have completed the replacement of the roof and carpet in the church, costing $350,000. Your very generous donations of $147,000 to the maintenance fund was eight times what we received the prior year, and they were much appreciated. Over the past 25 years, the property at the corner of Birch and Buchanan has been part of our long-term campus plan. When we were able to purchase the land, we were thrilled. Now we are considering how the property will best be used for our campus. We had a number of staff changes last year. Amid vacant positions, our staff stepped up to keep everything going. We have now hired staff to fill the vacant positions. There has been some staff changes as well. We are so grateful for the wonderful staff that is now in place. This will allow us to best serve you, our parishioners. Immaculate Conception's commitment to Laudato Si joins us in a global movement of churches and communities throughout the world who are dedicated to caring for our common home. Through educational programs and initiatives, we encourage our community to be good stewards of all of God's creation. The solar panels on our school's roof help to contribute to a sustainable energy transformation, resulting in a two-thirds cut in our power use. Our CC Preserve provides a natural space for our outdoor mass, for our children to play, and for the birds and pollinators that make their home in our gardens. We have increased our efforts around recycling and just begun a composting program on our campus. These efforts towards education, sustainability, and action demonstrate how we are working together to care for our common home. We serve in different ministries. And I also have the honor to serve as the chair of our pastoral council. About two years ago, we were in search of a spiritual home until we got to Immaculate Conception. Mm -hmm. Aside from being involved in many activities and ministries, we heartily support Immaculate Conception because it feels like home. Your generosity as parishioners allows us to help so many people in need. One ministry that directly benefits from your donations is the Love Fund. Each week, you read a story in the newsletter and respond in love, providing financial assistance to be used for those in need. Over the last physical year, the Love Fund distributed $119,000, responding to referrals from local agencies. We helped 64 families, assisting them with payments on their rents, utilities, emergency housing, and medical expenses. We also distributed $6,000 in cards for gas and food. When a disaster hit, somewhere in the world, you responded. Just as we ask each of you to give a portion of your income to us as a church, the church then gives money to different agencies. You help those who were migrants. You help those who were food insecure. You help those who needed help in a time of transition. You helped support our children. You helped our community, both locally and internationally. Those of you who supported the Alternative Gift Fair helped to raise $17,000.
which help the following agencies. As you can see, your donations were used for many worthwhile projects. We are the Singalisi family and we're proud to support Immaculate Conception because of the wonderful community that we found here. It's really amazing that families will stay for an hour after Mass to play and talk and our children can see that church isn't just a physical space or building but it's the community of believers. We really appreciate Immaculate Conception's Franciscan identity and their commitment to justice, peace and integrity of creation. We are very happy to support Immaculate Conception. Our parish's commitment to JPIC continues to be at the heart of our mission through an active participation in both local and global issues. One of our greatest accomplishments this year was the record-breaking attendance at a Durham Can Assembly. Over the last three years, we have been blessed with the leadership of Father Yasik as our pastor. Under his leadership, we completed many projects and started a number of new initiatives. His welcoming presence and energy will be missed. We wish him Godspeed on the next part of his journey. We are looking forward to getting to know Father Manuel as he begins his leadership as our new pastor. We are grateful for all of you and the support you provide for our community. Our two children have received all of their sacraments here at Immaculate Conception through confirmation. And both of them attended Immaculata School. Recently, our two grandchildren we're baptized here. During these years, I've served on the stewardship, welcoming, and Laudato Si teams. In this work and in our lives as parishioners, we continue to be grateful for all that Immaculate Conception does and has been for our family. Every year during this season of stewardship renewal, we take time to reflect on all that God and Immaculate Conception Parish has given to us. We then with gratitude, recommit to our financial support of the parish. We're all in. Each of us is on our own stewardship journey. This weekend, we will get an opportunity to reflect on yours. How will you financially support our parish? Please take time to complete a pledge card. Remember, this is an annual commitment that each of us is asked to make. Something you want to consider. God is a giver. God gives so much. Each of us is created in the image of our God, so that means we are meant to be givers too. Let us pray that God will continue to open each of our hearts so that we too may grow in generosity. We hope that you will take some time to prayerfully consider how you and your family can support Immaculate Conception, helping to build the kingdom of God in Durham.